Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how Morph Transition in Office 365 replaces custom animation. I'm going to make the point by showing you how to create a beautiful picture showcase graphic in PowerPoint. The effect you will learn to create today looks like this. As you can see here, we showcase picture 1 here and the corresponding explanation is shown here. Then on a click you can see that the arrow moves from this point to this point and then this picture changes and the associated explanation is shown here. And then on a click the arrow moves from this to this, picture changes, title changes and the explanation comes here and then on a click the final point is showcased with all the changes that I mentioned. Now the reason why I wanted to show you this particular infographic is now think about the number of steps that you are saving by using morph transition rather than custom animation. Take a look at this. This particular piece here is moving from this to this and while it happens you can see that the color of this piece changes from this color to this color and it happens so smoothly. If you were to use custom animation then you need to use two different animations to achieve this effect. First you need to have a precise motion path animation that moves from here to here and while that happens you need to add another animation which is called object color. So the object color needs to change simultaneously as this piece moves from here to here using motion path animation. So that is two animation events there. Second, you can see that when the movement happened from this to this, you can see that the picture has changed. Now that means you need to use a different custom animation to achieve this effect. Either you can stack these photos one behind the other and you can have one of the photos exiting or you can have an animation of one exiting and one entering to achieve this effect. Another thing is you can see that the title changes from this to this as we move from one slide to another. Which means if you have to do this on your own then you need to have a fade animation exiting and then you have the fade animation entering to achieve this effect. And you can see that there is one more animation event you want which is to have this text appear. So easily there are around five to six different animation events that are required to replicate the same effect that I had shown you. And all this can be done so effortlessly using a simple morph transition. I'll show you how to achieve this effect from scratch by going to a new presentation. Here I am on a new slide in a new presentation. Let me call this showcase picture one and I'm going to have a picture placeholder. So let me go to auto shapes gallery. First I'm going to use a simple rectangle like this and I'm going to make another copy of this by pressing Ctrl D. I'm going to hold the shift button down as I reduce the size of this rectangle. I'm going to select both the pieces here. Go to arrange align and say align center. Arrange align and say align middle. And now this piece can be given a darker color like say this one shape fill and then this one can be replaced with a photo. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to select both the pieces and I'm going to remove the outline. So we have got our picture placeholder in place. Now I want to create the text placeholders that explain each of the photos that are going to be replaced here. So I'm going to go to auto shapes gallery, pick up the same rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle shape and this is going to be my text placeholder. I'm going to make duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D and I'm going to place it here. Yeah, and then I'm going to place Ctrl D again and Ctrl D again and I can select both these pieces and then slightly extend the height so that there is a match between these four pieces and this uh, picture placeholder. Now I can give each of them a different color, maybe this time the orange color for this one and uh, yellow color blue color and then green color for this one. It is completely up to you. I am going to select all these and I am going to say shape outline, no outline and I am going to use a small triangle to serve as a marker that points the text here 
to the photo here. So let me go here, pick up this simple isosceles triangle from basic shapes and I'm going to draw like this. And then let me go to arrange, rotate and say rotate right 90 degrees and I'm going to place it here and I'm going to adjust the size so that the height of this matches the width of this uh, text placeholder. I'm going to remove the shape outline and I'm going to give this the same color as this. So let us go to shape fill and give this the orange color. Now I can right click on this one, go to format shape and fill this with a photo. So I'm going to go to picture or texture fill, insert picture from file and I'm going to choose a picture of a flower and I'm going to choose this picture here and I'm going to say insert and I'm going to give this white outline so that it really stands out. I'm also going to write my text here. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the text box tool and I'm going to write something like you can replace this sample text with yours and I'm going to place this over here and I'm going to reduce the width. Now that looks beautiful, increase the size and give this a contrasting font color. Now we have got our first event in place. Now I'm going to go here, right click and say duplicate slide. And this time I'm going to do a couple of changes. I'm going to say showcase picture and I'm going to say showcase picture 2. And then I'm going to move this by using my down arrow key so that it matches and corresponds exactly with the second text placeholder and we are going to keep it there and I'm going to give this a different color. So I'm going to match this color with this one. So let us go to shape fill and give this color and I'm going to write another text here. So I'm going to paste it and I'm going to keep it here. So that is the explanation for point two or the photo two. I'm going to select this and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to insert picture from file and I'm going to choose a different picture, maybe this and I'm going to say insert. Now that looks beautiful. Now I'm going to duplicate this once more and I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I did earlier. I'm going to move this from there to here, which is for the third text placeholder make the final adjustments and then go to shape fill and give it the same blue color and I'm going to have this copied press control D and I'm going to place this over here and I'm going to replace this with a different picture and this time the picture that I'm going to use is this one and I'm going to say insert and now we have got three pictures I have changed the title as well now I'm going to select the second and third and then I'm going to go to transitions and I'm going to say morph transition. Now let us go to the slideshow and see how this whole thing works. On a click you can see that the arrow moves from here to here and this text is now added and the photo has changed and the title has changed. Now see this. This moves from here to here, text is added, photo changed, the title changed. It is so very easy. Even if you are a complete novice who doesn't know anything about how to use custom animation, you can still create such complex, beautiful animations using the power of Morph Transition. For those of you who want to take this to a whole new level, then I suggest that you use comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. This bundle is a collection of more than 4020 premium PowerPoint templates that allow you to convert any boring text-based slide into clear and memorable visual slide in a matter of minutes. Let me show you some creative ways in which we can showcase photos. The first one is this where we talk about three images and text variation. Here you can see that we have the platform in place. On a click we have the first photo showcased, the second photo and the third photo. The best part about this is you can use these templates even if you don't have Office 365. This one works in any version of PowerPoint, be it 2007, 2010, 2013, 2016, any version of PowerPoint and all this is built using custom animation so you don't have to worry if you have more transition or not. Another example is this one where we show three captioned photos that come in so beautifully. These kind of effects are not available with Morph Transition. Though Morph Transition is really beautiful, these set of templates take your presentation to a whole new level which your audience would have never expected. Another example is this one where we showcase three different photos in such a beautiful fashion 
and you can write your explanation here. Another example is this where we talk about images and description. You can see how each picture gets revealed so beautifully like this. And you need to just replace this picture with your own picture, anything that is relevant to your subject to be able to use this template quite easily. Every piece of whatever that you see here is totally editable and you will have clear video instructions that show you how exactly to customize our templates to match your specific requirements. Another example is this where we talk about three images with captions. Here we bring in the platform and then we talk about the first image and the subtitle text, the second and the third image. If you don't want the ones with custom animation, of course you can remove custom animation from the ones that I had shown you earlier or you can use the ones like this which don't have custom animation. The best part is you can always apply custom animation on your own in any of the templates that I have shown you just now. All this is totally ready-made available in comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. This bundle will change the way your presentations look and feel. The kind of impact you will make with this comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle is to be seen to be believed. I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. You click on the link and see how this product can change the way you create your presentations forever. Finally, if you want to receive exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share only with my email subscribers, please click on the link and join our newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. The simple tips and tricks that I share with you can be used in your next presentation. So please click on the link, join the newsletter and I will see you in the next video.